Hello, my name is David Larson, amateur radio operator KK4WW. We're located today in the Floyd County Community Amateur Radio Station, N4USA. Today I'm going to talk about a very rugged, high power, ancient antenna tuner, the Johnson Viking Kilowatt Matchbox Tuner. This tuner was made, or these tuners were made in uh, perhaps the 40s, and certainly the 50s and perhaps into the 60s and maybe very early 70s, but they're very old, very rugged. A lot of people still like to use them and you can buy them on eBay. This particular tuner was used by W4KQD, an amateur radio operator who was licensed during the 30s and has been a silent key for many years. But he built the monitoring circuitry into this Johnson Matchbox to use the directional coupler so he could measure power and SWR. Uh, not all the uh, Johnson Matchboxes had that circuitry built into them, it was generally external. We're going to look a little closer at this directional coupler as well. Now we're going to take a look at the front panel controls, the back panel, then we're going to take a look inside and see all the good inside parts. Here's the front panel of the Johnson Viking Kilowatt Matchbox Tuner. Here we see the nice uh, Johnson logo, Kilowatt Matchbox. Down here is the band switch for switching between 10 and 80 meters. Over to the right is the capacitor for matching the impedance of the input and output. And moving over to the left, we see the capacitor tuning here for tuning the resonant circuit inside. This particular Johnson kilowatt matchbox tuner has had built in the monitoring circuitry for forward and reverse power. This meter will read that. And over here, the switch for uh, forward and reverse power and to calibrate the meter. This is used in conjunction with the Johnson directional coupler. We'll take a closer look at this coupler, but this is what was used to measure power and SWR. Well, here we have the backside of the Johnson kilowatt matchbox. Starting down here with the coax or the RF input, over here to the right is where we have the various controls we're controlling the uh, relay switching for the transmit to receive relay inside. Moving on up here to the top, we have the two insulated outputs for the twin lead. And over here is the coax connector for your antenna. This is just another ground connection down here. This is just a ground connection, as is this connector up here. But this wire here, if we bring it up, is the one that plugs into the three connections that plug into the Johnson directional coupler. And the rest of the circuitry is uh, inside the Johnson matchbox. So that plugs into this directional coupler, which is in series with the coax line going to the antenna. Where is the inside of the Johnson KW matchbox. Let me tell you, we took the cover off and it's a lot of work. We're going to count the screws and let you know how many there were, but it was a bit of a challenge to figure out how to get all of that out. So let's take a look at the components inside of this tuner. There's a little coil back here. This is actually just a little RF probe for picking up RF. It helps you tune. You have to hook up a meter on the outside, but uh, that'll help you tune to resonance. Here's the relay, switching between transmit and receive. And the uh, capacitors you see here, the capacitor for tuning the coil to resonance, and that says big coil. This is the coupling coil from the input, and this big coil you see is one that you tune to resonance. And here's the capacitor over here that helps with the matching of the output and the outputs are right back here. Here's a coax output and the two outputs that are used when you're using uh, twin lead uh, connections. Now the big, uh, big coil, we have a hard time seeing them, but there's a lot of taps down in there. 
and they're controlled by this band switch and we can't really get the camera in there too well to see the band switch either but that switch is between 80 and 10 meters and the various inductors so that's pretty much it it's built very well very heavy duty the switching is very heavy duty you see all the connections all the wires all the straps are very very large and um, this unit would handle several kilowatts without any problem whatsoever so this is the inside of the Johnson Matchbox Kilowatt Matchbox Tuner 2. This is the Johnson Kilowatt Matchbox Antenna Tuner Schematic Diagram. This is about a 50 or 60 year old or perhaps even older than that design. Here's your coax input to a link to a tuned circuit. This tunes to the frequency you're transmitting on as a resonant circuit. These two capacitors tune the resonance, along with the switching here to select in different inductances. The output can be either coaxial or two-wire twin lead. And these capacitors here essentially do the impedance matching uh, for the output, sort of in conjunction with the, the tuning is affected a bit here as well. So we can match uh, quite a wide range of impedances with the Johnson Kilowatt Matchbox Tuner.